now after the transmission lines and after the stringing efficiency coming to the underground cable okay so here in case of underground cables the voltage will be given by minus integral r2 small r e dx like this is a general formula like using electric field intensity you are going to get the potential which is nothing but you can also write it as if you change the variables then you can remove the minus sign that's what we are doing here i am making the variables from the limits of integration from small r to capital r then it is going to become positive and e is lambda by 2 pi epsilon x and you observe here the lambda is charge per unit length it is not just charge okay so like that q is per unit length right that's why you are not getting x square in the denominator that means you have already considered per unit length charge okay that is the reason okay because for electric field intensity formula you will get q by epsilon not x square but here you are not getting right that's what i'm saying okay right so v equals to q by 2 pi epsilon not epsilon or ln capital r by r you will get that after integration so the electric field intensity from this will be g or or capital e equals to lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon not epsilon or x that like that integral part only i am writing here okay just by writing epsilon as epsilon not epsilon r right then here from that formula the maximum electric field intensity is going to occur at x equals to small r that means the denominator should be less for the quantity should be maximum right that's what i am doing so at radius small r the stress or electric field intensity will be more that is g max equals to capital v by r ln r by r right that means radius of conductor then if you consider the radius of sheath that the stress will be minimum because the denominator is maximum because capital r is greater than small r it is simple common sense so the minimum stress or electric field intensity is capital v by capital r ln r by r right that means the conclusion is that at the sheet the field stress or electric field intensity is minimum whereas at the conductor it is maximum right to have minimum value of gradient which is nothing but the st stress or or electric field intensity e at the surface of the conductor that means as i said at the surface of the conductor that is at the radius small r it is maximum so to have minimum value of that maximum component are you getting at the surface of the conductor the inner radius of sheath and r are related like this okay anyways at the smaller it will be maximum only but how to reduce that maximum value that is what this condition is going to give okay so if the ratio of capital r to small r is small e that is what exponential power 1 that is e power 1 what it will it is its value i think 2.7 something i guess so if that is the situation you are going to get economical condition that means the gradient is minimum if capital r and small r are related like this okay